Doctor Who Season 13, a.k.a. Flux, is out in the UK on January the 24th on Blu-ray, DVD and Steelbook. Wow, yeah, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Thanks to BBC Studios, though, I've got the Blu-ray right here and I am going to unbox it for your pleasure and then I'm going to tell you what I thought of Flux. So first of all, let's just take a quick look at the front cover of this and once again, the artwork very much adheres to the colourful rainbow-hued theme that we've seen before on series 11 and 12. I guess it's debatable whether such a colourful cover image really reflects the often very dark nature of this series. You'll notice there are four art cards inside there, we'll be certainly having a look at those. There's a bit of blurb, six-part event serial adventure, yeah of course that's one of the special things about Flux isn't it? That it was uh, one big six-part story. And uh, there's a list of special features there, it looks like there's quite a few the Weeping Angels Return, Directing Doctor Who, Kate Stewart and Unit Return. Yeah, there's a fair bit of stuff going on there and it feels like quite a comprehensive package. Nice spines there, that's the sort of the inner spine. And here is the outer one. If you've yet to pre-order this, by the way, then you'll find links down in the video description. Okay, so what's the first thing we're going to see in here? It's Yaz, aka Mandip Gill. And on the other side of this, looks like it's going to be a nice fold-out affair is the Doctor. Who else? But of course, it's a trio, this series, in terms of the TARDIS team, so we have to have Dan there as well. Three panels, and so we've got two discs inside. Now the discs themselves both have the same image on there, pretty much the same as the front cover, I think, but I can see there's stuff lurking behind them. I feel like there might be a Ravager lurking behind at least one of these. Okay, so there's Vinda behind that one. It's like a Doctor Who advent calendar, isn't it? And then behind this one, we have Swarm and Azure. That's quite a dark photo of them, I have to admit, but uh, they still look great. Now, in this lovely little pocket, we have art cards, the advertised art cards. We're going to have a look at those. And what else have we got? The uh, This is a guide to what's what on each disc. So you have four episodes, as it turns out, on one Blu-ray. And then you have uh, Survivors of the Flux and the Vanquishers, episodes five and six on disc two. And there's quite a few special features on each of the discs as well. I think there's probably more special features than there were on 11 and 12. What do you think? Let me know down in comments. Also drop a comment down below if you'd like me to make another video reviewing the special features then obviously subscribe to make sure you catch it let's have a look at these art cards i'm really hoping there's gonna be another picture of the ravagers are you getting the impression they might be my favorites hmm here's the doctor very nice on the back there you've got the uh, doctor Who flux logo yaz of course the same pictures that are inside the, uh, the panels of the box here's dan and then Oh, it's the cover image. I mean, it's a very nice cover image, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, I would have liked a bit more kind of, you know, Sontarini, ravagers -y type imagery. Yes, and also the odd Cyberman or Dalek wouldn't have hurt really, would it? It's also perhaps a surprise that neither Bell nor Carvinista are featured anywhere on this packaging. But to be honest, Flux is such an epic that it'd be pretty hard to squeeze all the major characters onto this thing. And for all my misgivings about how, you know, it's not dark enough, it does look great, I have to say, just as a piece in itself and to a large extent it's what's inside that matters isn't it so what did I think of what's inside I had a really good time with flux I really enjoyed it the interesting thing is that this channel is overwhelmingly about classic Doctor Who as opposed to revived Doctor Who but there was a lot of things about flux that really put me in mind of classic Doctor Who and I think a lot of that comes down to the cliffhangers I absolutely loved the cliffhangers of flux especially the cliffhanger of episode two, when Swarm clicks his fingers to send Yaz and Vinda off into some kind of time stream hell. The cliffhanger of episode four was also great with the Doctor becoming a weeping angel. And then episode five, I thought has one of the most disturbing cliffhangers in Doctor Who history. I'm surprised there wasn't more talk of it being kind of controversial because I thought it was pretty grim. Swarm killed the Doctor's mum in close up, her face disintegrated. I thought it was a great shock and yeah, maybe slightly underappreciated. My favorite thing though about Flux were the Ravagers as you might have gathered from my copious mentions of them earlier in this video. I think in particular that Swarm played so brilliantly by Sam Spruill is one of the finest villains that Doctor Who has had in quite some time. That's a really special character there and Azure is great too, really well played by Roshenda Sandal. It's just really nice when something fresh and unpredictable enters the world of Doctor Who and that's how the Ravagers felt to me. I also really liked the scale of the 
series, the whole thing felt absolutely massive, didn't it? From from the flux in episode one to the Sontaran battle in episode two, and then a smaller scale for the Weeping Angel story in the village, which was a classic Doctor Who material, wasn't it? Yeah, the Weeping Angels were used really well there. I thought there were some great ideas. A really strong series, and it's incredible to me that the whole thing was made during the pandemic. That is incredible work by anyone's standards. What did you think of Flux, the series, and what do you think of Flux, the Blu-ray set, in terms of the packaging? Get down in comments and let me know.